Hi everyone, welcome back for another whiskey review. Today looking at this uh, special release from Aaron and um, by the way this is not two display boxes of the same whiskey, just a big box comes with the sleeve of the same picture, which I think is kind of cool because um, this is a very special release um, commemorating 12 years of um, Master Distiller at Aaron working for the distillery. So this is Mr. James McTaggart. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, James McTaggart. And um, he's obviously had a significant influence in the fortunes of Aaron and um, winning them any number of different awards for the different releases and all that kind of stuff. And um, so they've gone and released this limited edition of whiskey. Now it has been out for some time and I've had the bottle open for some time. I'm just only getting around to reviewing it. So they released it with um, barrels laid down in 2006 and used barrels that were of 12 years of age or just above. So I'm guessing it was released in 2018 but as the boats are very slow to get to New Zealand I remember it being available in 2019 at some point an overall release of 12,000 bottles so a very much a 12 um, team here 12 years of Mr. McTaggart working at Aaron they've released a 12 year old limited edition whiskey 12,000 bottles and bottled at 51.8% ABV now if you know your whiskies, uh, 51.8 is not quite uh, cast strength because I wouldn't have expected the cast to drop their ABV that significantly in 12 years. So they maybe have watered it down a little bit, but not too much. And um, I stand corrected. It says bottled at natural cast strength of 51.8%. That's very high angel shear. That's very high actually. And 100% finished in... Palo Cortado Sherry Cast from Jerez. Now that's the part that caught my attention actually initially when these came here because I hadn't heard of well Palo Cortado Sherry Cast. Um, I generally have no idea. But the display case is quite cool and for memory these were about 150 Kiwi dollars retail so about 75 pounds which for a 12 year old whiskey seems a lot but it is a limited release, it is a one off, it is celebrating the work and um, efforts of a great man at Aaron and um, here's the bottle. Now time to find out what, what's it like on the nose and the palate. Now um, Aaron obviously over the last few years has been one of my most favorite distilleries. Unfortunately, I haven't drunk a heck of a lot from them because outside the core range, being the 10, 18 year old and a little bit of their uh, different cast finishes, we don't really get a lot of Aaron in New Zealand. It's ignored a little bit, which is a bit of a shame. And I remember getting quite excited when this was available because, you know, it's a limited edition and it is Aaron and I haven't drunk a Aaron whiskey to date, which I haven't enjoyed at different price levels, right up to $300 bottles and even the entry level 10 year old just all been phenomenal. Now this one is very, very golden. Now on the display box, I didn't see anywhere if it's natural color, um, but let's just assume it is. I mean, if they've gone to the effort of um, filling it with cast strength, I'm pretty sure they're not going to bother adding color so beautiful golden hue to it very nice cool Ooh, honey I didn't mean to do that voice but it just came honey wow this is the hint of spice but the honey very much being the this underlying um, tropical fruit sweetness just trying to come through in this sort of a sweet custard buttery nose character turning quite creamy actually 
So I can't wait to add just a couple of drops of water to see what happens on the nose, but we'll wait till I've tried the whiskey without the water first. Yeah, very creamy on the nose, gorgeous. Ooh, nice. All right, time to find out what's it like on the palate. Mm. <laughs> Spice. Whoa, pepper. <laughs> It's attacking me a little, but that's my own fault because um, I've just had some very spicy pizza uh, with some hot sauce and the spice has found those hot spots from the hot sauce and uh, <laughs> my palate's burning up a little. And you know, this is something I've said in the past and when I do my tastings as well, I say to people, the food and the drink we have during, before and after whiskeys interferes with the flavors we're going to get out of the whiskeys. It can bring out more or less of the flavors directly resonating with the food we have and um with this it was a spice explosion but there is sweetness in there and hopefully um my palate will calm down a bit to find them mm. now it's a little bit better a lot more juicy a lot more juicy on the palate. Wow. That sort of creamy character has resonated onto the palate, but not to a large degree. On the nose, it was very creamy. The sweetness in there. Just going to add a couple of drops of water in there just to see what it does to the whiskey on the nose and the palate. Mmm. Out a little bit more of the spice, which is very pleasing. Really nice. And the honey is a lot less now, and maybe just more of the spice in the nose. Very nice. All right, let's see what's it like on the palate with just a couple of drops of water. Mmm. Still a lot of spice. Wow. And that just could be me. As I said, because of the hot food I had for dinner before doing this review. <sighs> spice. Spice. Wow. That's probably more me. I keep saying that again and again. That's more me. Um, I remember it giving me a lot more sweetness on the palate. But wow. Really interesting whiskey. For $150 worth a try, I reckon. Um, it's worth adding to your collection. It is at its natural price trend, as I um, said. So it makes it a little better value than getting a whiskey at 40 or 46% and um, having a sort of flat, one-dimensional uh, flight. Well, that's all I've got to say about this particular whiskey. Hopefully, you can still find some out there in the wild. It had been released for some time, so... They might have disappeared. There is some still available in New Zealand if you look for it. Otherwise, if you're liking the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very near future for another review. See you later. Bye-bye.